Hello, and welcome to Malaysian Horror Stories channel. Today, we will be sharing about Pochang. What is a Pochang? A Pochang, also known as Shroud Ghost, or Hantu Gulling, is a type of ghost that is said to be the soul of a dead person, trapped in its shroud and it is famous, mostly in Malaysia and Indonesia. Known in Malay language as Kain Kafan, the shroud is the prescribed length of cloth, used in Muslim burials to wrap the body of the dead person. The dead body is covered in white fabric tied over the head, under the feet, and on the neck. According to traditional beliefs, the soul of a dead person will stay on the earth for 40 days after the death. If the ties over the shroud are not released after 40 days, the body is said to jump out from the grave, to warn people that the soul needs to be released. After the ties are released, the soul will leave the earth forever. How do Pochang look like? Pochang comes in all sizes and forms, depending on not only the physical appearance of the deceased person, at the time of death, but also on the state of the corpse's decomposition as well. The pochang of a person who has been dead for years, would be more skeletal in appearance, whereas the pochang of a recently deceased person, would retain a fair resemblance to its former self, save for some minor decomposition. Typically, a fresher pochang is described as having a pale face, and wide open eyes. Multiple sources mentioned, a pochang with dark face and glowing red eyes, a decayed pochang with white featureless eye, and a flat-faced pochang with empty eye sockets. Although in popular culture pochang hop like rabbits, due to the tie under their feet rendering the ghost unable to walk, the original pochang move around by floating above ground. This condition, is often used to distinguish fake pochang from the real ones. Pochang Mera or Red Pochang, is arguably the most feared variant of Pochang, due its infamous reputation of being unpredictable and aggressive. It is said to be born out of, a person who wished to seek revenge for an unpleasant death, making it more akin to a vengeful spirit often found in many folklores. The red color of this Pochang, is associated with the feeling of anger, and vengeance felt by the person the moment before death. Of all variants of Pochang, the red Pochang is believed to be more likely to attack the living without provocation. Because of its violent and dangerous nature, many people believe the red Pochang is the king, or a leader of some sort, of Pochang. What happens when you encounter a Pochang? If you encounter a Pochang, it would not harm you, but it will follow you, wherever you go. It will only attack someone who blocks its path. So, if you ever stumble across a pochang, do not stand in its way or you will regret it. There are only two ways to escape from pochang. 1. You can lie on the ground and pretend to be dead or 2. You can try and evade it by running down a long, winding road until it loses sight of you. Only when the knots are untied, will the ghost stop haunting you. As Pochang are not bound to the physical world just like humans are, they can be found practically anywhere, from their final resting place to their former homes. However, it is not uncommon for someone to find a small colony of Pochang, happily gathering near or around banana trees. That is all from Malaysian Horror Stories.